The camp for p campaign team has been justifying why they chose to stay in the new patriotic party, though they raised similar issues as the issues as those raised by Alan Tremartin, who recently announced his resignation from the party. Former second vice chairman of the NPP and also a member of the Canadian Japan campaign team tells me, though their issues haven't been fully resolved, they are optimistic measures put in place by leadership of the party will be able to resolve their issues. This party definitely has issues. I think I'll be the last person to say that there were no issues. So don't think that we are not recognizing those things, there are issues. But I'm saying that we have decided that instead of going out to fight, we shall stay in and fight it out because we will resolve it from within. It doesn't mean that there are no issues in this political party. I'll be the last person to ever say that there are no issues. He also tells me they are combining the votes of Alan Chamartin and that of Kennedy Japan to beat Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who is also a flag bearer aspirant in the upcoming November 4 primaries. Politics is about numbers and we count numbers at the end of the day to win. So of course it should concern us, it should concern Ken. As a flag bearer going into December 2024, we must try as much as possible to unite everyone. When you join Alan's vote and Ken's vote together, Baumia will be defeated. That's what it says. So all that is going to happen is that there will be no need for second round. We're going to do the second round in the first round. We're going to join Alan's votes to Ken's votes and we shall defeat the vice president. And that's what we're going to do. The Ken for President campaign team has introduced a digital platform to help supporters contribute their quota to the campaign of Ken a Japan. The fundraising team indicates this is key to ensuring accountability and breaking the cycle of winner takes all. Grace Hamua Ajuman, TV3 News, Accra.